Welcome back to the second episode of my TOEFL score improvement series. So today let's delve into some details. So I managed to boost my reading score from 26 to 30 and listening score from 25 to 30 within just one week. Only by practicing hard on following three tips on reading and five tips on listening. Um, I think these are the most fundamental part of the TOEFL exam with both being input oriented and also they're the easiest one to get improved on. So with no time to waste, let's get right into the key points. So when it comes to TOEFL reading, once you've reached a certain level, it's less about how much vocab or background knowledge that you have. And instead, it's more about the way you absorb information by reading. According to my experience, I think the most effective strategies really boil down to three elements. Firstly, paragraph reading. So the total questions are presented paragraph by paragraph, with each paragraph having at most two to three questions. So I find it most effective and efficient to read paragraphs one by one. You read the first paragraph, answer its questions, and read the second one, so on and so forth, till the end. This method can really reduce the time that you have to focus on the text, avoid distractions, and also alleviate some psychological pressure. And secondly, keyword jotting. After reading each paragraph, make sure to jot down three to five keywords to some the main idea is um, even though some paragraphs don't have any questions presented, you have to make sure to read through them and take the necessary notes because this method can really guarantee that you tackle the final question with the least amount of time and the highest level of accuracy. Otherwise, you will probably end up with no time or you will select the choices that only look plausible. Thirdly, sequential reading. So you have to make sure to read from top to bottom, from left to right. Don't skip around like me because you will miss some important information. This is my biggest reading habit problem. So you really need to realize your bad reading habit and correct them because it really affects the result. When it comes to listening, Right off the bat, avoid word fixation because, especially when you're listening to some unfamiliar topics, refrain from the impulse of trying to write down everything that you hear because it will make it even more challenging to keep up and understand. Find a way to calm yourself down, listen a bit more, understand the context, and whenever you get the gist, use a little bit of time to outline what you just comprehend. And the second tip is to understand the entire conversation. Unlike the listening part in a speaking or writing sections, actually it doesn't require you to repeat everything. It just needs you to comprehend the context, the whole idea, maybe with a little bit of details, but basically don't be too obsessed with note taking. Otherwise you will lose the forest for the trees, you know? However, we do have to take some notes sometimes, which leads to my third point, strategic note taking. So there are a few simple things that we absolutely have to take notes on. Uh, whenever there are metaphors or examples, you need to pay attention to what kind of concepts that these metaphors or examples are used to illustrate. And second, very detailed description of steps of certain things happening. And thirdly, attitude twists. For example, if a professor spends the whole time explaining some theory, however, at the very end, he or she says something like this. However, a theory is just a theory. You might get this kind of questions like, oh, what is the professor's attitude towards this theory? So you know it's a skeptical or whatever. Not a positive attitude, right? So recording these right details can help you anchor your attention, you know, avoid some distractions. And the fourth tip, improve your note taking speed. Some people say that you can use the shorthands for the simultaneous interpretation, but I don't think it's necessary because personally, I cannot remember everything and I cannot fetch them quickly in my brain when I'm doing the listening test. So I think the whole point here is just to avoid the urge of writing complete words or sentences. Okay, so last but not least, I wanna say that the biggest challenge when it comes to TOEFL listening isn't that I cannot comprehend the content itself. It's just that I don't have the patience to sit still the whole time, you know, especially when it comes to the topics that I'm not interested in. And I wanna know if it's just me or if some Somebody else also feel this way. Um, I feel like the real conversations that I got when I was in the US were so freaking different from the listening material. So actually nobody talked like that around me. So I was not 
feeling comfortable listening to those things. For this purpose, actually, any kind of modern dramas, like TV shows, songs, will not help with this. You have to just find some time to sit down and you know train your patience with listening to these materials. No other way around this. Yeah, all right. This is so much about my TOEFL listening and reading tips. So if you like this video, maybe you'll be interested in my next one about speaking tips. So I'll see you there. Bye-bye.